Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. in the car today because I wanted to do a Turner Syndrome video talking about driving. There are probably five different ways I can think of that Turner Syndrome affects driving and the ability to drive or the comfortability with driving. It was very obvious when I started driving how different of an experience it is for me versus like my parents or my brothers. And while it's never been a huge issue, there were a few differences. The number one difference Turner Syndrome makes with driving is obviously your height. If you cannot reach the pedals, there's no, no way to be able to drive unless you're close enough that you can put pillows behind you. When I first started driving, so when I got my permit, and my mom would let me drive when we went anywhere, which was like we went everywhere together. So I actually got a lot of experience behind the wheel when I had my permit. I had to put pillows behind me. I had to scoot closer up on the seat. I had to make sure of being able to reach the pedals adequately so that I could. I had to make sure the mirrors were set to my height and I had to make sure the steering wheel was set to my height because otherwise it's actually very dangerous to have it facing you like that if it's too close. There was adjustments to the seat I had to make. There was the mirrors that were so off for everybody else but that was the only way I could see in them. And I did have to put pillows behind me for a little bit when I really first started driving. Second way Turner Syndrome affects driving has been, for me, depth perception. Being able to tell how close I am to something and how much farther I can go or if I have enough space to turn around. Things like that haven't been too bad for me, but I have noticed them. And that leads into the third point or third way that Turner Syndrome affects driving. And that's something called nonverbal learning disorder, NVLD. And I think I should do a whole other video on that. But basically, it is why I'm so bad with math. It's why I struggle retaining those concepts and understanding them. And it also can affect your social skills. It can affect reading people's reactions, reading their facial expressions, being able to tell when somebody's serious or when they're not. And I think it can also bring on anxiety. Anxiety in certain situations. And of course, that can play into driving, especially if you're not comfortable driving. For me... I've never had that much trouble. I was super excited to start driving. I pushed so hard to get my license and it wasn't until I met the first other girl with Turner Syndrome and to this day, the only one I've met in person and she didn't drive and she was 10 years older than me that I realized how differing the cases of Turner Syndrome can be and how badly it actually can affect things. Even with something as seemingly ordinary as driving, that there's actually quite a few of girls with Turner Syndrome that decide not to. They just don't feel comfortable with it, or they don't feel like they've grasped the concepts enough, or they they it's just not something they want to risk, or it's not something they feel comfortable with, so they don't do it. Or fighting with their height just is not fun. I remember hating the fact that I had to put pillows behind me, but it was legitimately the only way I could reach the pedal the pedals so safely. Anytime I'd be like, well, maybe I can try without. My mom was like, no, to be safe, 
You have no option until you can prove to me that you can do that without. It was never under the guise of Turner syndrome when we had conversations about me and driving. It was always just, honey, you're short. It was never in the context of Turner syndrome, so I didn't connect it till a lot later. My mom mentioned to the other girl's mom that, oh, she was so nervous because I had just gotten my license. You know, the new driver thing as they get older, as kids get older, and the other mom goes, oh, she drives? Wow. And that was when we both were like, I didn't even realize that was a thing. And since then, I've kind of seen more on Facebook forums how it can affect it, <laughs> how it actually can be a major question for some girls that have it, that is it something that works for me or not. So that's something to seriously consider. The fourth way it affects driving that I have noticed is connected to height, but it's kind of its whole own thing, and that's visibility. So my neck cannot be as mobile as other people's because of the skin. I did get it taken care of, but that only gave me back so much, and it did make a huge difference, but still my neck has never had great mobility um, as far as turning and seeing and things like that. And being positioned in the car how I am with being short, there are a lot more blind spots. And I really have to make sure of where the mirrors are because otherwise I won't be able to see. Just being so small and trying to make sure I can see. It's definitely been something I've been aware of. And the fifth and final way Turner syndrome affects driving can be hearing. For me, certain tones are more audible than others. They catch my attention more. They can make the higher pitches, can make lower tones harder to hear for me. So I have to be careful of how high I have the music and paying attention. I've never ever had that big of problems with hearing, but it just has been something to think about. And for other girls who maybe don't have great hearing, that can be something to think about when looking at driving. So that is my Turner Syndrome video for today. I thought I'd do another one just because the other one was just Turner Syndrome awareness. I didn't talk about anything informational too much. And I thought this was a really fun topic. I wanted to talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. And I hope you learned something. I hope it was informational. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. If you are not already subscribed, click the screen and subscribe. And then you can see when the next video comes out. And I will see you guys in that one. Bye.